Rick Ross did, I think I'm Big Meech, Larry Hoover. I think I'm Big Meech, Larry Hoover. It, it, it's, it sounds dope in the club, but when a person trying to get out of prison, they don't want to. They don't want to go back to those thoughts no more. Exactly. They don't want to deal but, with but, that. But you know what? You know what? The sad case is that you know people like myself and Larry Hoover and Jeff Ford. You know, you know, we put that out in the atmosphere. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Um, go ahead. Okay, when you think about today, gang, right? You gotta mm -hmm. think about Lil Wayne. That's what I was about I mean, to say. Think about Snoop Dogg. You gotta think about the look. look you know this is something we interviewed. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Jeff Ford's grandson, right, and uh, Prince Amir, and he talked about uh, pretty much uh, was it uh, Kevin, Kevin Gates. Gates? He said that he had used his grandfather, you know, his father's name, and it's in the music, but he don't know him in some type of way. I can just, especially in the entertainment history, you know, you got Kevin Gates to just drop something on his intro. What did he say? Go check out the intro. But I'm gonna show you how great I am. For the record, I am Muslim first. Where should I begin? I'm a general. I'm one of men. A B P S N. I'm you know it it was about the Muslimic faith, or was it about it the about Black Mu Peace Stone? Like or was said, it? Muslim Let me know what I'm looking just, for. Uh, Muslim faith is just not ours. That's to get that straight. So Correct. I don't want that of to course. be. But you know who you get your teachers from, and or who you wanna who guide you. That's a blessing. But he speak on. He speak on Islam, he a Muslim first, and I, I'm doing a lot of that to, with, with that brother. And he also speak on being part and partial of this thing of ours. You know what I'm saying? And my point is, I never met him before. And it was crazy to me because he was like, not only him, uh, NBA Youngboy, so a lot of time the hip-hop scene cultivates and look, moves look, the look, whole look, narrative. Look, look when I was hot. Look how many times they used my name. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my name, Nelly, I, I, man, my name been mentioned. I can I can just go past, the, what's his name, uh, Project Pat. I, mean, I can just go, I mean, if my name, you know, uh, they use my, my lyrics. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, uh, LL Cool J. You know what I'm saying? Let your next move be your best. That's my stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they, you know, it's culture. So we are like the the the, the Primes and the Pepsi Masons and, you know, they talk about, what's that dude's name? Uh, uh, Alpo and, you know, yeah, uh, Alpo. Uh, Rich. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, All Rich. them guys. Them guys were folklore. They was ghetto folklore. They was ghetto heroes. So, you know what I mean? That's the that's what we talk about when we in the barbershop. That's when we talk about when we ain't on uh, Boss Talk. You know yeah. what I mean? We talk about Larry Hoover. Mm -hmm. We talk about Jeff Ford. You know, we talk about, you know, uh, Mickey it, Caldwell and, and all the rest of them. But brothers. it's good and bad when they talk about you because then, like, if it's a case where, say, you've gotten older and you're not as relevant anymore, when these newer rappers are talking about you, it gets you back hot. It gets you relevant with a younger Group, group of people. It depends on but, what you're but doing. But it goes bad, bad, and, bad and good. The ones who are in prison, like you, Larry Ford, Jeff, I mean, Larry, Larry Hoover. Hoover, Jeff Ford, and so forth. When you have rappers who are talking about them, and these men are trying to get out of prison, and they're talking about them in a way where they're still in these. They don't know. They don't even include. They don't know these right. dudes. They weren't even born. Exactly. When, so you know, it, it, it more like harm them than it's good for them. You see Just what I like mean? Just like what Rick Ross did. I think I'm big. Meets Larry Hoover. <laughs> It it it's it sounds dope in the club, but when a person trying to get out of prison, they don't want to they don't want to go back to those thoughts no more. Exactly. They don't want to deal but, with but, that. But you know what? You know what? The sad case is that you know people like myself and Larry Hoover and Jeff Ford. You know, you know we put that out in the atmosphere. My mom used to say, exactly. "Son, my mom used to say, son, don't Be speak careful. it because you can't mm -hmm. bring it back." So mm -hmm. all the things That's that we it. all the things that we did, Especially you know, in what today's society with social media and everything, yeah, you well, definitely well, can't well, bring well, it back. Well, everything we did is coming back to hunt us. Right. Malcolm X said the truth, the chicken is coming home to roost. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Everything that we did in the past, That's you know, real. that when we was doing to build our image, because you know, the first thirty years of a man's life is legacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the next thirty years is dynasty. So exactly. So after Larry Hoover and Pippa Ken and Jeff Ford, all of them hit the thirty year mark. It's about, you know, we're thinking about our children. We're thinking about generational wealth. We're thinking about how we're going to lead something to our kids. So it, we don't have that same perspective no more. But that legacy, that first 30 years, is gangster. <laughs> Damn it. You know, yep, kill yep. it. You know what I'm saying? Yada, yada, yada. So that's what you get left with. You know, like a, a lot of times, you know, I, I say this all the time. People say, Pimp and Ken. I say, Pimp and Ken. Not period, Pippa Ken, comma, you know, a founder of hip hop fraternity. Oh, Pippa really? Ken, comma, author, Pippa Ken, comma, literary agent, Pippa Ken, uh, comma, filmmaker. So people is putting 
like I got this from uh, TDJ. He said people put a period where they need to be putting commas. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? They need to be Larry Hoover, you know, comma, you know, uh, political uh, 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 advisor. You know, he had Gator and all them. And, I, and you know, we, anybody in Chicago know what happened. They said Gates to go to polls. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Larry Hoover, you know what I'm saying? Me, uh, mentor, philanthropist, you know. You know how many murders this man didn't stop? Yeah. You know, you know how many people he said, man, let him make it. Saved a lot you know what of I'm saying? I mean, you know, so we got to free Larry Hoover. You know what I'm saying? We got to free Jeff Ford. Exactly. Because if America really wants to see a transition, if they really want to see something uh, happen, they got to quit glorifying the criminals. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.